So Mark Miller's Reborn is coming to Netflix as a feature film and I freaking called it this time. Um, <laughs> I love this book. If you guys don't know who Mark Miller is, he is the writer of Kick-Ass, he wrote Kingsman, um, but in the comic it was called Secret Service and he made a bunch of other comic books that are trying to see the day of light uh, on the big screen but they never got made. Um, and Reborn is a new, new announcement that had just came out today and it looks like it's going to uh, be produced by Sandra Bullock who could be playing the lead actress in this and it's going to be directed by Chris McKay the guy that is responsible for the Nightwing movie and so um, I am totally for this because this book is so it's so fantasy like and it's it's a really cool approach of the afterlife and uh, yeah when I was reading it and I'm like this is totally going to be in the in the movies, and that's that seems to be the notion or the um, the way we we perceive these Mark Miller comic books. You know, every time one comes out, everyone's like, "Yeah, he's probably writing this because he wants to see how good it is, and and uh, he wants he probably wants to make it into a movie." And, <laughs> and Reborn is definitely that movie that, or is definitely that comic book that I feel could br definitely bring that that fantasy. Uh, onto the big screen or I guess the small screen now since it's going to be on Netflix um, And yeah, if you guys don't know uh, Reborn is basically a story about an old lady named Bonnie who dies at a hospital and um, Gets reborn into this barbaric world where she is uh, She's in her prime again. She's young. She's beautiful. She's fit and she's she's a warrior and she's actually a princess and the people in that world have been waiting for her arrival and she sees all of her past loved ones have, have died and, and her friends and um, and she's in the search for her her husband that passed away years ago and that's what pretty much the whole movie is about and it, it's pretty cool it's a really cool perspective on uh, what happens after you die you know do we go into this world where you know it's your 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 best self and your your most physical you know, fit looking self and um, it's, it's really cool and I think it's, it's, really, it's a really good book and that's why I'm really excited for this and I feel like if Sandra Bullock is going to be the lead actress in this, I mean she's a little older, you know, a little on the older side, um, but I feel like she, you know, she's still a great actress. I mean, this could be like her freaking, another, her, her, her other comeback season, right? Because she, she had a really good comeback season back in 2009 with, um, uh, with, with Blindside, she she won an award for that, and so this could be you know another comeback. Uh, I, I would assume that uh, you know she she's really choosy with her her, her project now. Ever since you know she became an Oscar winning actress um, back then, and so this is really cool. Um, and I would assume Chris McKay, the guy that's going to be directing this, I'm assuming he's gonna keep himself busy in, until he figures out this whole nightly situation because. Um, he is he's scheduled to also direct uh, Dungeons and Dragons, which is which is um, supposed to come out 2021, and as well as Johnny Quest. So uh, he has these three movies, uh, you know, to keep him busy until Nightwing. I mean, if Nightwing is scheduled to come out after those movies, we may not even see a Nightwing movie even until 2023. God, I don't even want to know how old I will be or what I'm doing at that time. Hopefully I'm still doing this YouTube channel. That'd be really cool, right? Uh, anyways, uh, I really love this book. And if you guys are a huge Mark Miller fan, uh, let me know what your favorite book from him is. And if you ever read this book in general, uh, let me know how you guys feel about this becoming a, an adapted film. Uh, all right, so the next story that I want to talk about is this Green Lantern rumor with Zac Efron. So months ago, there was a rumor with... Uh, you know, with uh, Tom Cruise playing as as uh, Hal Jordan, and it's going to be a buddy cop. You know, uh, Hal Jordan is the the veteran, the older Green Lantern who is trying to train in John Stewart. So, based on this report, it looks like it's going to be rewritten because it looks like Jeff Johns and David Goyer, who, if rumors are true, are the ones rewriting this. Seems like they they want to get this story right, and so. It looks like they're looking for someone younger. It seems like they're looking at Zac Efron at this moment. Um, I, I mean, Hal Jordan is not the you know confirmed role that he's going for, so it could be either him or Kyle Rayner. That's what people are saying. Um, and I definitely feel like most likely he's going to play Hal Jordan if the rumors are true. And I feel like I mean, it's it, I think it, it it fits the role. I think. He, he does come up in a lot of people's uh, casting choices for Green Lantern, uh, Hal Jordan, 
and uh, you know he does have that that Top Gun look that uh, Tom Cruise had, and I feel like he does have that pretty boy, um, reckless type look. Um, and <clears throat> you know, you know, I'm not a big fan of Zac Efron. You know, I don't think he's really that funny. So I really hope they don't play up the comedic side of Hal Jordan. I really hope they make him more focused and uh, just reckless. I mean, he doesn't have to be like Ryan Reynolds and funny. Like, he doesn't have to make a joke all the time. Um, so I really hope they don't play that up with his character. Uh, and so I, I truly believe in Jeff Johns. I mean, that's his baby, right? And the fact that they are going for someone younger, it does tell me that the person that they want to play as Hal Jordan may want them to be young enough to play multiple films um, and not be old and like approaching 50 like Ben Affleck was uh, with Batman. You know, I mean, you can't have a, like a 50 year old like doing all these crazy stunts and jumping around and some people just feel like they're too old to play a superhero which is totally fine on Ben Affleck's part. So I hope they choose someone young enough to play either a trilogy or long enough to see a Blackest Night movie. That would be really dope. So let me know what you guys think about this story. How do you guys feel about Zac Efron playing as Hal Jordan? Uh, do you guys think he has a look? Do you think he's perfect for Kyle Rayner? Or do you want him to stay away from the DC universe in general? Uh, and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.